Hey, greetings. It's Marty from OwingsArt.com, and tonight I'm here to talk a little bit about uh, erasers and individual performance characteristics of a number of different kinds of erasers. Bam! There they are. There's a whole bunch of erasers. You can buy just all different kinds of erasers, and we're going to check out each one of these. Um, so, uh, without any further ado, let's talk about just some of the ones that I'll, I'll review today. Stadler. Mars, it's a plastic eraser. It's latex free. Faber Castell, dust free, made in Germany. And uh, Factus, that's an extra soft eraser made in Spain. Alvin, another German uh, eraser, uh, vinyl. The Swiss. Karen Dosh, Technic Eraser. Prismacolor Art Gum. Prismacolor Magic Rub. Last but not least, the old Paper Mate Pink Pearl Eraser. Alright, so let's talk about the individual performance characteristics of these erasers. I'm going to show you what I did here in a moment. Um, but this is basically, I took um, sort of graphite colored pencil, and then I tested each one of the erasers on, um, on each one of the marks here. All right, let's take a look at that now. Okay, we'll start with the Magic Rub right here. Art Gum Eraser, not Magic Rub, sorry. Art Gum Eraser. All right, here we go. Next up, the Prismacolor Magic Rub. A little more smeary on this one. Okay, next up is this Karen Dosh Technic Eraser. Let's try that. Nice and smooth. Yeah. It's a pretty nice eraser. Karen Dosh. Next up is the Alvin. This is a white vinyl eraser. Not a lot of residue other than the what's sticking onto the eraser here. Not much left on the paper. That's the Alvin. Next up is the Faber Castell. It says dust free erasing. So let's see. Next up, the Stadler. Mars plastic. It's latex free. It says here. For paper and film. Alright, let's give it a try. It's 
Tidal on Mars. All right, last but not least is this Factus, made in Spain. It says extra soft. It is pretty soft, effortless. Not too much debris with that either. Factus. All right, we'll give the pink pearl eraser a try. This is the eraser I use most often. Medium pressure on this. It seemed to perform quite well on the graphite, not as well on the on the colored pencil. Well, at least on the darker colored pencil. That's the Paper Mate Pink Pearl. So there are all of them. The Pink Pearl, Prismacolor Art Gum Eraser, the Magic Rub, the Karen Dosh, the Alvin. Second here, Alvin, the Faber Castell, the Stadler Mars, and the Factus. If I was going to pick two that sort of outperformed the others, I would say it's the the Faber Castell Dust Free here and the Karen Dosh Technic. Those seem to do pretty well. Really, I mean, the Faber Castell kind of almost completely removed the color. You can see some with the Stadler, there's still some color there. Yeah. There's some erasers. And the ones I use the most are right here this Pink Pearl and um, this Faber right here. Hey, I just wanted to wrap up the eraser review by saying, hey, none of these erasers I reviewed today cost more than uh, $2.50. I picked these up at the local art supply store called Dick Blick. That's uh, an art supply store that's throughout the United States. Otherwise, you can get these on online at uh, Utrecht or Artist Supply Warehouse or Jerry's. So, um, yeah, go try them out yourself, and I hope you get a chance to draw. Thanks for checking out the video, and don't forget to leave a comment or a question if you have one. So long, and thanks for stopping by.